Today, let's think about five candle facts that'll make you enjoy singing happy birthday so much more. Number five, when you light a candle, the mass just seems to disappear. When I throw it on a scale, watch what happens to the mass. Especially of a normal candle, there's not even drips that usually happen. So what's going on? As the paraffin wax reacts with the oxygen, the carbon and hydrogen in the wax get converted into carbon dioxide and water, which are both invisible. Number four, and this one might be one of my personal favorites, the flame has positive and negative ions in it. If I charge my finger, see how the flame bends away? We can't see my face here, but that is probably one of my favorite things to do. It makes me feel like a superhero. Or villain? Are there any heroes that bend fire? Korra, Avatar. Number three, the temperature in the flame is not even close to even. There are around four to five distinct temperature ranges inside of a burning candle. The base where it's blue is around 800 degrees Celsius. That's melting the wax. It's harder to see the other layers, but just above that, there's a dark region that's lower in oxygen, and that darker region is usually around 1,000 degrees Celsius, and we have some of the initial carbon breakdown. Above that, we have this bright yellow region that's what we normally look at, and that yellow region is about 1,200 degrees Celsius, so we're getting really hot. And surrounding the flame, there's a nearly invisible veil that's about 1,400 degrees Celsius and that is extremely hot. That's 14 times the boiling point of water. Super cool. Number two, energy transfer. Depending on the source, less than half the energy that's going out here is released as heat. Some of the energy is going back into maintaining this reaction. We have to melt the wax, we have to have enough energy for the wax and the oxygen to react, that activation energy, and then we have energy that's emitted as light as well as the heat, it's really hot, <laughs> 1400 degrees Celsius. Number one, convection currents. These are so cool. I hope you can always see the convection currents in your mind after we think about this. The hot low density air around the flame rises carrying the carbon dioxide and water products up and away while simultaneously pulling in fresh air from below the flame. This creates the teardrop candle flame we know and love. What experiments can you come up with that use those five facts? Pretty cool.